A new cancer vaccine cured 97% of tumors in mice. Human trials are coming next. Deepak Chopra is with us. He's a doctor who advocates alternative medicine, and he joins us now. Doctor, welcome to the program. By the way, it's integrative medicine. Alternative implies that you, it's one or the other. Integrated ah, medicine. Integrated. I'll never make that mistake again, doctor. <laughs> I won't cause you any no, stress, no, believe me, right. I won't. I but don't get stressed. I, I, I know you're, you're, you're not in this direct line, but mm -hmm. we're intrigued at the idea of a vaccine for cancer. Is this truly promising? It's very promising, but we must remember that cancer is many diseases. There's so many kinds of cancer. Sure. Now, it's very interesting that this is 97% of cancers in mice, so we'll see what the human trials show. It is promising, I guess. Oh, it's very promising. But on the other hand, also, we must remember that most disease-related gene mutations mm -hmm. that cause cancer, that's only 5% of all the total gene mm -hmm. mutations that cause any chronic illness. So lifestyle still matters. <laughs> Which brings me to your book. Uh, the, it's the 88th book you've written. Something like that. Something like <laughs> you've lost count, I can't believe it. It's called The Healing Self. Yes. And it's all about managing stress, is that correct? Well, it's about managing stress, but it's also about what sleep does to self-regulation, <laughs> how your emotions are connected to your biology, what is the role of nutrition in altering what we call the microbiome, which is 99% of the genetic information in your body. Only 1% of the information in your body is human genes, which you got from your parents. Essentially, you're a, a microbial colony with a few human cells hanging on. I am a microbial <laughs> colony with Everybody a few human cells hanging, hanging around. On. That's so a good line, doctor. We can, we can, I'm stealing it. <laughs> we can change that genetic information through nutrition, we know that now. Okay, look, if you're dealing with stress, mm -hmm. deal with me for a second. Um, I'm told that I've got a high stress lifestyle. I get out of bed at 2.45 in the morning. I'm on TV for three hours live every single day. Uh, a lot of pressure in a job like this. How should I handle my stress? I think you told me earlier that you enjoy it. I do. So that's called you stress, which is different than distress. So use stress is not, not harmful at all. Wow. Okay, as long as you're enjoying your life, that's what matters. Now when stress becomes a perception of threat, either psychological or emotional or physical, mm -hmm. then it's dangerous. So I'm okay? You're okay, except for the fact I think you might need more sleep. Ah, no, I go to bed at 7 o'clock at night. Okay, I, I get about okay. six and a half, so seven So by and large, your circadian rhythms, which is, you know, the rhythm that we have as mm -hmm. a result of the cycle of day and night, as long as they're close to okay, you'd be fine. <laughs> I think you're the only person on this show who actually does more TV than I do. Because <laughs> I've seen you for a long time. Yeah, 88 I, books. Actually, I don't leave home. It's my body that goes in. <laughs> Deepak Chopra, that was a pleasure. Thank and you. And I wish you well with your new book. Thank sir. you. Thanks sir. for joining us. It was a pleasure. Thank, Thank you very you. much indeed. <laughs>